project was inspired by Shelly at Shizzle Design. Check out her website for awesome paint tutorials. This is how latex paint looks. It stretches and it's rubbery. We're going to fix this thing. You would look at it and think, forget it, it's too much work. It's going to be magic on the rickety old chipped up, jacked up dresser. This is Queen Bee right here. Can you see it? It's good. There's the truck right here. I like that part. You just want big like leopard spots of color all over the dresser. Old 57. Look at it. It's like a vintagey turquoise color and it's the color of old trucks from 1957. Not every truck, but a lot of them were painted this color right here. Paint a variety of colors in a random pattern, making sure to feather out the edges if you don't want your brush strokes to show through like a panty line. It's not good at all right now, but it will be. It'll be it'll be better than that. That looks that looks like something that Jerry Garcia would paint. We're going to cover up that big mess back there and then we're going to rub it back with a damp cloth and then it's going to be magical. It's going to be black magic and it's good. See, it says black velvet. Paint a solid color over the top covering up all of your patchwork paint. I would think that a darker color would work best for this, but I haven't tried a light color to know for sure. It's a damp rag. I, I dunked it in water and then I squished it out. I'm gonna rub the paint back with the rag like this. Use a damp cloth to rub the color back. This is one of my favorite things about DIY paint is that it will distress with water and you can get a lot more detail than you can achieve with sandpaper. I love the way all the colors came through. However, as I completed the project, I wasn't happy with the final result. Should I wash this off? Hurry, the battery is going to die. I fault you the wrong stuff. Because I'm all upset about it. I'm not too stubborn. I'm a perfectionist. I don't want to look like an idiot. I don't want people to go, oh, did you see Debbie's video? A piece of throw up furniture. It's like Black Hawk Down. <laughs> Crashed. I don't like the way the side looks, Bobby. It looks like a kid. But you like the knob. Looks like a kid made it. You like the You just don't take criticism. I just know when I'm right. That's always. <laughs> it's not always. It is too. After that, I turned off the camera, I put the dresser under a tarp, and I walked away from it. And that is what I did for two weeks. After two weeks, I started listening to this book on audible.com. It's called The Obstacle is the Way, all about pushing through when things get really hard. He teaches you how to do the things that you don't want to do. After reading that book, I was able to finish the video. You can download this book for free by going to audible.com slash Debbie's Design Diary. They have over 150,000 books to choose from. They are offering you a free 30-day trial and a free audiobook. So yeah, so there goes the train. Now let's get back to the video and see how I finish the project. The dresser's all done, but I don't like it. It might work on a more sophisticated piece of furniture, but for this particular piece, it just makes me feel depressed. It just feels dark. Bobby said I should just finish the video and pretend like I liked it, and I just couldn't do that. So, so I've got these four colors. We're gonna use mint chip, sea glass, old 57, and prom dress. Then we're gonna put the layered chocolate on the sides of it, and it's gonna have like this ombre situation and we're going to rub it through a little bit to get those other colors coming out and we're going to see how that looks and if that doesn't work then I'll just give it to the goodwill. Let me know in the comments below if you like what I do to it next or if you thought it should stay like this. I wanted to see if I could get a softer look while keeping the layered effect. So I painted four shades of blue on the drawers and layered chocolate on the rest of the dresser. DIY paint is highly pigmented, so it's easy to cover up black with a pastel color. Then I began to rub the paint back again. 
This time, I was really happy with the way that the color came through. I used a damp cloth in some areas and a wet sanding block in others. And then finally, I finished the project with clear liquid patina. And you don't see me applying it here because by this time, I was pretty much over this project. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it this way instead of the first way. And if you liked it the first way instead of this way, then give this video a thumbs up. There's a big truck out there, so I'm just going to talk over it. So if you would like to find out where to buy my paint, you can go to my website and find out who's selling it in your area. And subscribe if you want to see more videos because I've got another video coming up and we'll just see how that one turns out. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Click the links below to find out where to get DIY paint in your area. And be sure to check out audible.com for a free audiobook and shizzle design for Shelly's amazing furniture projects. Thanks for watching.